Hey, what's up, guys? JD Vidimir back with you for another Black Ops 3 daily gameplay video and commentaries here. If you guys are new around here, please rate, subscribe, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, and like the Facebook page, where both links are down below. Tell your friends and tell your family and come and join the JD Venom Nation here on YouTube. And today is the day that everybody has been waiting for. This is for the new DLC, DLC 2, the Eclipse DLC that came out. And uh, I will be talking about that later on. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll make a video on, um, on my personal review of the DLC. Uh, I'm not going to be actually playing the maps themselves. But I can watch and see and get my own personal review of it. Uh, also of the Zombies Mat uh, Noshima Zetsubu. Or Zetsubu Noshima, I said that backwards. But I think it'll be fun for me to at least give some type of review for that. But today I want to talk about some new patches and, and nerfs and buffs for some weapons in the recent patch that came out yesterday. I'm just going to be talking about the weapons themselves and majority of these weapons have been buffed. Okay, so let's get into this here. So we're going to start off with the submachine guns. The CUDA has reduced one kit heal range in hardcore mode. Laser sight bonus aligned with bonus received on other SMGs. Reduced ADS movement but no longer uh, lose speed while firing. So the CUDA is uh, a little bit nerfed, but uh, in a way, it, it is a little bit buff because you'll no longer lose speed while firing. So if you're if you're a type of guy that that moves, uh, you know, as you're firing your weapon, you can strafe left and right. But most of this here, the CUDA has been nerfed. The VMP reduced ADS movement, but no longer lose speed while firing. The Weevil removes speed reduction, increase ADS speed, increase sprint recovery, and, re and increase 5 hit kill range. So the Weevil has been buffed. The Vesper removed speed reduction while firing, increase ADS speed, increase sprint recovery speed, and increase ability to control recoil, which was plagued with the Vesper when he got the nerfs. Welcome back, Vesper. The Vesper is a viable weapon again, ladies and gentlemen. The Favor, remove speed reduction while firing, increase ADS speed. The Razorback, removed speed reduction while firing, increase four hit kill rage, reduce one hit kill rage in hardcore mode. So the Razorback has been nerfed with that kill range, so if you're thinking that the, the Razorback has not been a viable weapon, I, and I think the Razorback is very, very underrated, this has given it more of the shot of being a better uh, submachine gun in Black Ops 3. And the HD4 has increased 3-hit kill damage range. Let's get into the assault rifles. We only have a couple assault rifles. Uh, the HVK increased sprint recovery speed, increased aim stability, and increased recoil stability, which makes the HBK, and this is the weapon as you see that I'm playing here with right now, HBK between 2 and 9, this is from the actual uh, buff itself, so look at this gameplay here, it looks like the, uh, <clears throat> the HBK is actually going to be a fucking viable weapon, it's so much easier to control now when you're firing your weapon, it feels so smooth like butter. Um, the... ICR is increased recoil stability. So the ICR, which is a uh, which is an actual weapon that already had good recoil, has even got even like non-existent recoil on this weapon. The Shiva increased ADS speed, increased flinch, uh, flinch stability, and rapid fire now punches properly. The MX Garand increased fire rate now performs better with rapid fire. <laughs> so this just makes a fucking you know, viable weapon, the MX Garand, to a fucking god weapon. The MX Garand is now a god weapon once you slap rapid fire on there. Oh my goodness. Let's get to the shotguns. The KRM, increased one hit kill range potential. Uh, the Haymaker, uh, increased three hit kill range. The Argus, increased one hit kill range potential when hit firing, which, <laughs> god damn, the Argus is already a fucking good uh, shotgun has made an even better shotgun. The light machine guns, the BRM, increase ADS uh, outspeed, increase recoil stability. 
the dingo increased tightness of bullet spread while ads which is the dingo like i said once i'll say it again is the most underrated um lmg in the game it also increases uh hip fire accuracy which which you just put on and the hip fire wasn't that bad already so if you slap on and this is why i do when i have the dingo I have on there a, um, a reflex sight and a uh, laser sight, or even sometimes extended mags, but most of the time it's laser sight, and now it's, it's going to make the laser sight even more better now, because laser sight, which I'll go over in just a moment, uh, I guess I'll cover the attachments here in the video as well, that you should have uh, a nice little buff as well, but um, with this here, the uh, dingo increased tightness of bullet spread while, uh, while ADS increased hip fire accuracy on the dingo so let's get to the gorgon the gorgon increased ads out speed increased request stability increased damage through like cover and increased uh well that is it for the gorgon uh, so that one there has a little bit of a, a buff but not as much as uh, some of the other weapons the, the now the dredge has a big buff increased firing rate increased uh ads speed out the dredge already which is the burst fire uh, light machine gun has got a buff off of the, the the firing rate, so now it's gonna be even more melty, more than the gun actually is. And just over the attachments real quick, so the laser sight has increased uh, the accuracy bonus received from the laser sight, the recon increased recoil stability, um, the boa uh, increased uh, b the boa sight increased recoil stability, thermal has increased re recoil stability. And the ballistic CPU has it increased recoil stability. So that is it for some of the patches. There are other things in there like the like the score streaks, the game modes, the challenges, and there's a lot of other stuff in here. Zombies, uh, gameplay itself. But guys, I am going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys are uh, new around here again, definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page. Or both those links are down below. And I'll see you guys later for another video. Have a great day. Peace out.